What's up guys, it's Kyle back with another video and today we've got some pretty exciting news. GoPro has made two announcements recently. Number one, they have officially committed to building a drone. Building a drone. Building a drone. Yes, that is correct. At Code Conference yesterday, GoPro CEO said that they would for sure be building a drone for the consumer market with professional level quality, which would be landing in early 2016. So we will have to wait a little while for it to come out, but it is super exciting and I really can't wait to see what GoPro is going to bring to the market in this field. You know if they're going to be late to the party, which they are, DJI has been around for a long time, the 3DR Robotic Soul is, has been out and has got a lot of hype, but you know if GoPro is going to show up late, they're going to want to make an impression and for somehow they're probably going to manage to do it, whether it's by price, features, or how the GoPro camera is integrated into the, the drone. It's going to be quite exciting to see what they do. I definitely think that their involvement with 3D R Robotics in developing the Soul probably had something to do with their learning experience in how they're going to develop their own because they're not really a drone company. If you look at companies like DJI or 3DR Robotics, what you notice is they kind of started off way more as a consumer uh, RC uh, company, building, company uh, building components for RC planes and um, uh, consumer drones, hobbyist drones, and then eventually got into building mainstream products. That won't be the case with GoPro. They're going to be bringing their own consumer level drone to the market in early 2016. So really, really excited to see what happens there. You guys should definitely watch the full interview from Code Conference where the CEO announces all of this and talks about why they think it's important to get their foot into that market. They talk about how the drone is one of the most amazing tools for an individual to be able to capture themselves in their environment. The philosophy which GoPro is based on being able to capture yourself doing your sport, not needing a big camera crew, being able to use what you've got at your disposal to capture your own moments and take control of uh, sharing your own moments with the rest of the world, thinking of themselves as a company designed around allowing people to share their moments with everyone else, not so much the agenda of taking over the world, just the ability to have people share their moments with their friends. And the second big announcement was their 16 camera array designed for capturing 3D video. So there's a new thing out on YouTube, it's 3D video, it's videos which you can actually scroll through, you can change what you're looking at. It's basically a moving panorama. It's a movie panorama you can scroll through as the video plays. There's a really cool one of drifting they've launched. So there's um, cars drifting around this donut and the camera array is in the middle. So you can go and you can follow the cars around the array. Of course, the camera array is totally stationary and all of the videos are being stitched together um, the stitching software which is being used is actually now a company which GoPro bought a little while ago. So they purchased this company and that's what they're working on. These 16 camera arrays are coming later. There's apparently going to be a select few people which they are seated to to kind of use and get their hands on and start to create some really cool interactive content. The cool thing with this is it takes content and instead of being a passive activity watching it, just you watching the video, it actually makes it totally interactive, meaning that the, per, the viewer has complete control over their experience. This is going in to be a VR kind of capturing. You think of things like the Oculus or um, HTC's new one or um, Samsung's new VR headsets. This is going to have a lot to do with that because if you want a good VR experience, you're going to need to be able to move your head, look around and have the content move with you. Small compact camera arrays such as a 16 one, 16 camera array GoPro showing off are going to be instrumental in making that kind of content work. Maybe what we'll see next is a 16 camera array hung under the body of a GoPro drone. Who knows? That would be pretty cool. 
but those are the two big announcements. Now, the camera array is kind of interesting because there's a 16 camera array, which I've talked about, which is the one they use in that drifting video, but the one that was being shown off is more of a six camera array with a, a kind of a, a sphere camera array, and that one they use to shoot a video going underneath the line of the Golden Gate Bridge in a helicopter, so you can also check that video out. All of those videos are linked down in the video description. Definitely check them out. The announcement video when they say, yes, we are building a drone is hilarious and awesome. And um, if any of you guys out there are GoPro fans, you will be very disappointed with how quietly the crowd cheers. But those are the two big new announcements from GoPro, and it's definitely going to be an exciting next year for them. With all of these new products coming out, it will be interesting to see how much they actually upgrade their camera lineup or if they're going to kind of stick with their camera lineup, their current camera lineup, give us just kind of maybe a four plus and then focus on the integration of those camera products with their kind of larger accessories like drones and camera arrays. Going to be very interesting to see what they do and I think it's going to be a good time for everyone to see where they're going. Until next time guys, I'm Kyle and this was another video. If you guys have enjoyed it, please make sure you like it and subscribe. If you've got any thoughts on these announcements, leave them down below. I will read them and I will be hanging out down there for some very interesting discussions on our thoughts on what is coming up. Guys, until next time, thank you very, very much for watching.